That is disgusting. Here we have what I term the Cat P SX64. Why would I call it the Cat P SX64? Well, it came with a lot of computers that smelled horribly of cat pee. They were all bagged up. The gentleman who transported them for me just could not handle the smell. So they were bagged up in black garbage bags, put in his back seat, and quickly got out. And when I got in my trunk, yeah, my car started to smell like cat pee. The keyboard is a bit flaky. So need to take this completely apart, try to clean everything, clean all the contacts, clean the membrane, and hopefully that'll do the trick. And some limited testing, the floppy drive seems a little flaky, so Hopefully it just needs a head clean, maybe receive some chips. So I'm going to take this whole thing apart and give it a good once over. And I'll come back and let you know how it went. Maybe I'll leave all your curses in there. When you curse, maybe I'll leave it in there. That nature, that mother nature. Anybody curse. Can you see all that crap that came out of it? Look at that. Ugh. A lot of effort, but I'm glad I took this whole thing apart. Ugh. Look at that. Ugh. Yeesh. Yeesh.
this shows, but I think some kind of black residue on my hands working on the inside of this keyboard. Yeah, there's some kind of residue in there. I hate to think it's cappy, but here we go. into the soup with all of you. Soap and water bath is going to dry, air dry. Soap and water bath. This one, when it air dries, I'm going to use some contact cleaner on it. Make sure it's nice and extra clean. Here are the keycaps in clean water about to go get rinsed off and dried, but what about the soap water they were soaking in? Does that look like it has a tinge of yellow to you? I don't think that's just dirt. Um, uh, considering this had a cat pee smell, um, yeah. Alright, we have everything drying out. You know what? As bad as the case was, the keyboard especially, as bad as that was, and inside the floppy drive mechanism, you know, as, as opposed to that, the bo actual boards inside this thing are clean. Clean enough to eat off. Take a look at this. Here you have the main CPU board, basically main board. That 8510 gets me. That's got to be a misprint of 6510. That thing's nice. There's your floppy board. Come 
I.O. board. Connector PC board. Little dusty in there. I'll clean those contacts with some contact cleaner. But otherwise, good. Expansion port extension cable. Here we have our case knobs. Volume, contrast, bright, etc. And finally here we have our internal power supply. What I like is you see these caps. These caps are not bulged and it looks like Sharpie marks on top of them. To me, this, this tells me this has been recapped. I normally kind of do that in the opposite. If I'm recapping, I'll mark all the old ones and then when I replace them, I can see if there's any mark that I missed. But some people do it the opposite. When they replace one, they'll mark it so they know they already replaced it. I'm guessing that's happening here. I'll put on some new thermal paste when I put this back in. So we get some good heat transfer. Isn't she pretty? Nice and clean. Really like seeing that, especially considering the outside of the case, how bad that was in the keyboard, how bad that was. Nice to see these internal parts so clean. I don't know about you, but in a way I kind of miss CRTs. Didn't think so in the past, but they do actually have a charm. Again, this is pretty clean. Little bit of dust, nothing bad. Certainly seen a lot worse on the inside of CRT monitors, so this is clean, surprisingly clean. That red wire for this from the CRT chassis goes down to that point on a board that says TP91. Don't know if that shows well, but uh, TP91 would be test point. If it's working, that's not an important wire. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I might have spoken too soon about this power supply. The top side of the PC board looked pretty clean, but I went to clean off this old thermal paste, and bottom side looks like it might have something going on there. So, we got to clean it. Let's see. Does that look yellow? Ugh. It's got to be what I think it is. Oh, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. Thank you.
now all clean and lubricated compared as to what it looked like earlier and this is much better There's some permanent stains on there but it's clean it's no longer covered in all kinds of dirt and crap and god knows what else it should work a treat Right, well, about a little more than half done putting this all together, but I wanted to interject here for a second and point out that these little things that are almost like little plastic rivets, I had a little bit of a headache taking those out to get these boards out, and now I'm putting everything back together, I see why. It's actually two pieces. If I would have known that, it would have been easier. But, uh... Going back and easy, if I have to disassemble this again, I will know. And yeah, 
this is obviously my first time taking a part of uh, Mass Effect 64. Did not know that was two separate pieces. All right, folks, it's all back together and it's clean and it looks pretty good. I ended up having to replace the keyboard membrane, but that'll probably be another video in the coming days. All the keys work. Etc. Etc. Not much I can do about this right now. That may be something to address in a later video, but keyboard all works. Keys are nice and clean. This came out pretty good. If you remember what it looked like before, it's pretty nice, pretty nice. The floppy drive now loads just fine and it passed most tests, but I notice on the speed test it's running about 8 RPM too slow. It also seems to have a problem with uh, fast loaders with copy protection like Vorpal and others. Part of that's due to the SX64 being kind of notorious for having issues with the floppy drive being so close to a CRT inside the case. There's no shielding on the floppy cables inside that case right next to the CRT. I've got some ideas on how to try to address that and I may do that in the near future. Also, I believe the belt on the floppy drive probably needs to be replaced, so I'm going to replace that. And again, that'll probably be on a video in the near future. But I would say mission accomplished this SX64 no longer smells like cat pee, is nice and clean, and generally speaking, works perfect. If you could have seen it in person, or especially smelled it in person when I first got this thing, you might have thought it was a lost case. And some of the other computers I brought home, a couple of candy, what they call four Ps, ended up getting thrown. The person that I was holding for just didn't want to take it. And I couldn't bring them off my front porch. They just, these were just that bad. Luckily, this SX64 could be salvaged. Well, I think that's probably going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next.